The fall of Rome in the 5th century CE left a power vacuum in the Middle East. The eastern half of the Roman Empire, based at Constantinople, remained, but it would be at war with the new emerging Muslim powers for centuries to come. At this time, the Persian Empire was also very weak and soon became incorporated into the Arab Muslim empires. In the 600s CE lived the Prophet Muhammad in Mecca, which is now present-day Saudi Arabia. Muhammad formed a new religion called Islam. He migrated to Medina in 622, where he was welcomed by the people. This religion eventually unified the Arab tribes into one nation. First, from 661, to 750 CE, they were known as the Umayyads. After that, from 750 to 1258 CE, they became known as the Abbasids. Under the Abbasid rule, Islam went through its golden age. During this time period, wealth and trade routes spread throughout Asia. Baghdad became the capital of the Islamic world in 750. Baghdad was home to the House of Wisdom, which was an intellectual center where Muslim scholars made breakthroughs in medicine, science, and philosophy. Arab scientist Al Jazari was a leader in innovation at the time period. His inventions are the idea of many complicated machines used today. Al Biruni was the leader in the first use of mathematics, specifically algebra. He was not alone in his discovery, as many Muslim scholars helped him in his discovery of algebra and geometry, and assisted him in many improvements. Math was rediscovered by the Jews, Christians, and Muslim scholars in Spain years later, and was translated and preserved. These texts are in a library in Cordoba, Spain. In the 800s, a musician from Baghdad relocated to Spain and opened the first music school in Cordoba. You are able to tell how Arab music has strongly influenced classical Spanish music. The Mongols burned Baghdad to the ground and conquered much of the Middle East during the 1200s. The ideas and achievements of the Abbasid lived on, but Islamic power declined overall. The remaining power after the fall of the Abbasid in the 1200s were given to the Ottomans, the Safavid, and the Mughals the Sunni-Shiite split is also an ongoing problem in the Middle East. 